Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So, um, given the news today that uh, Immutable has just raised sixty million dollars in its Series B funding round, mainly to scale um, its Immutable X uh, Ethereum Layer Two blockchain and uh, more generally the products sort of running on it, I thought um, I a good opportunity to go and have another look um, at Immutable X. So I've, I've done um, a couple of videos. When it when it kind of went live, uh, but not looked at it for a while, so I thought I'd go back and have a look um, at what was going on. So, um, you know, Immutable X is a, uh, a layer two, what we call a scaling solution. So it works with the Ethereum blockchain. It uses a technique called um, zk rollups, zero knowledge rollups. Um, basically, what it just means is it it sort of um, rolls up a whole bunch of uh, transactions into sort of one transaction and, and, and that's the way it sort of go is much faster and um, saves saves in gas fees uh, sort of the advantage is unlike um, other solutions it um, doesn't sort of use bridging in in the way that you might do if you're moving say kind of eth assets to um, solana or or, 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 or um, I guess we saw it first with with wrap bitcoin moving bitcoin to um ethereum so those are sort of fairly easy to do if you, if you create the right bridges but but the bridges obviously are, are a kind of centralization issue um the idea of stuff like zk rollups is is, is that you um, don't need bridges it sort of happens happens um through the uh, uh through, through, through the code so anyway um immutable x the whole point of immutable x is is um that they want to be sort of a a place where loads of gamers are going to be and loads of sort of a uh, value is going to be um, it's called obviously, obviously early days for it now. I'm just looking here. This is priced um, low to high. Um, I should say I've can basically um, I'm connected to this through through um, I'm, connected, I'm connected on my MetaMask wallet, which is on the Ethereum uh, blockchain, and and then that's um, sort of uh, I guess linked um, to my account on Immutable X. Um, so we'll get in, into a bit of that uh, um, um, as in the video, hopefully. So we're just seeing here, we're just looking at the cheapest stuff. So we can see here, yeah, stuff is priced in in ETH. So we're not the the um, the token is, is not a wrapped token. It is it is ETH. Um, so you're sort of getting the native token, which is sort of the advantage of using something like zk rollups. Um, so we can see here, obviously the cheapest ones. These are very small. So it looks like people are minting stuff here. This is, I think, if we go here, this so so we can basically. Um, uh, kind of filter through here we can see the swift images so th i guess this is just stuff mint this is people just minting stuff sort of messing around really i suppose um i know i don't know if they're live yet but there 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 is the um, uh, mintable uh, project um is uh, is going to be using immutable x so i guess that's maybe a way in which people are, are minting stuff and we can see as ever if we go to the most expensive ones we're seeing the usual sort of clowns trying to trying to sell <laughs> <laughs> trying to sell this awful stuff for uh, incredible amounts of money. There we go. We, we have our first uh, sort of uh, uh, punk there, and someone selling the word Banksy um, for forty-two ETH. Um, yeah, it's kind of how it goes, isn't it? Okay, so um, <laughs> so that's what's going on with the minting side. We can probably get rid of that. So we can see in terms of kind of collections here, we've got um, Gods Unchained. So all the Gods Unchained cards have been minted from across from ETH to Immutable X. Again, we can see these priced at sort of ridiculous prices. Um, now, obviously, some of these Immutable, some of these Gods Unchained cards, you know, do have rarity and have have sold for for large amounts of, of ETH in the past. Um, but uh, I'm not quite sure. I think this is probably still a bit a bit expensive. Um, obviously, if we can go back to the uh, low pricing here, we can see see some very very low um, cards. The point of like Gods on Chain, I think there was it six million cards. I mean, there's an awful lot of these cards, and obviously the, the point is um, you need to you have some very low value cards that you know, people will will um, will build to to create their decks. So there's that. What I'm actually going to look at is sort of the game that's. Um, uh, sort sort of all the stuff that's been minted more recently, and in fact, I think just a couple of days ago we saw uh, Guild uh, Guarded, Guild of Guardians um, do its first or one of its first drops. So um, the second wave, I think they call it. So here we have um, these energy tokens. I'm not quite sure how how the game actually uses energy tokens. The game the game is not going to be playable um, even I think in a basic state until next year, 2022. So at the moment they're selling NFTs, but there's not. Um, uh, there's no that you can't do anything with these at the moment apart from own them. So a uh, big thing here. Sorry, my internet is very slow. So why these things aren't loading? Um, so we have these guild tokens. So obviously it's called it's called Gu uh, Guild of Guardians. So one of the points is you is you have these um, 
uh, you, you have these these uh, tokens that that allow you to create guilds, and guilds are quite important to the game structure, um, which which is why they they have sort of call it that, and why they have these these particular NFTs. So those are sold out, um, at least the first wave of them. Let's have a look at um, heroes. So they've just sold some heroes. Um, and I thought that's sort of, sort of what I might sort of look at. Again, apologies for the very slow internet. We'll just wait for the, the, these things to um, to load through. So, so these are, um, as I say, the game is not going to be out for um, a while. Um, so, quite when these are going to be playable, um, you know, I, I think they were saying Q2 2022, I believe. Um, could be wrong on that, um, but but not necessarily expecting anything sort of this year around this. But we can kind of see the pricing here. Um, yeah, this is just being listed by the newest ones first. So this is just what people have just sort of dropped into sell. So people have obviously been buying these um, for I think they were fifteen dollars the, um, the the common ones, and now they're sort of dumping them. Not dumping them. That's the wrong word. Now they now they're, they've been minted on the Mutable X blockchain, and now people are obviously trying trying to kind of you know, kind of if they bought a whole bunch of them, they're trying to sell sell, you know, sell sell some off. We can see obviously different pricing going on here. This one's zero point seven four ETH. What's that going to be? Around about. Um, I'm trying to do the math now, like two thousand, two thousand five hundred dollars, something like getting on for that. Um, so uh, there's some sort of high level ones. Let's go and have a look, see what we go for. The it's always um, well, it's always good to see see what people are trying to um, go for. So I think with these with these items, I don't think there are sort of a, there's not a scarcity model at the moment. So there's no reason why these would be priced any different. Um, it would be a bit more sensible and have sorry have a look at the low. Low ones we can see here. The cheapest one is um, uh, so these are sort of you know generic heroes. So we can maybe um, let's have a look at this one here, shall we? Um, okay, so we can see here um, we can see get some sort of ideas of, of sort of the data around this. So we can see that obviously there's a big ID and there's a it's a water element and there's a serial number and um, I don't know what rarity star epic means. I don't really know what these things mean. <laughs> They're not very reader uh, user readable. The ser founder series obviously, um, and we can see here. Um, don't know what that number means because that's not the same as the serial number. Um, what is that going to tell us? No. Okay. Um, so anyway, we can see here um, my balance. So this is the balance um, in my immutable on, on immutable X blockchain of, of ETH, uh, zero point zero two effectively. Um, so I haven't got quite enough. So let's go and see. Let's go and just quickly do a deposit just to show how that works. So you can see here on my on my uh, this the Ethereum wallet that I've attached. To my immutable X wallet, um, I've got 0 0.1 ETH. Um, so um, let's go and put in um, 0 0.05, I suppose. Let's try that. So let's go through this, and I'm going to sort of certainly you know, have to sign this through. Obviously, have to sign it through on MetaMask first. And I'm going to go here. And also pay the gas fee. So I'm moving something from Ethereum to a different. Um, it is Ethereum moving to a different blockchain. So so I pay the Ethereum gas fee, which is obviously you know quite expensive at the moment. Um, so now you know I have to wait for this to go to go through. And if the if it didn't put enough gas, um, it's not going to go through. But uh, let's uh, let's just um, wait for that to happen. Okay, so we've waited for that to go through, and in the meantime, I've been looking around. Uh, so you can see all these are sort of roughly around the same price. So um, Let's see if I can have a look. Um, so if we actually look here. We can actually look at the serial number, um, and the serial numbers um, obviously are one of the sort of unique characteristics. So I've not looked in a lot of detail, but um, we can kind of sort to start to see. Um, yeah, there's different sort of serial numbers, and one thing we always do know is that um, lower serial numbers are are always sort of valued more highly. So. Um, Let's, let load. So uh, now I forgot which one was <laughs> the low serial number. <laughs> so um, it was the first one, wasn't it? So I'm not doing this in a lot of detail, but this is a serial number of a thousand. I think one of them I found a lower serial number. Um, because I'm not really fussed about what I'm buying. Oh, here we go. So this is this is serial number 407. So that seems I, I don't know how many. It doesn't say out of how many. 
Um, but I kind of thought, um, all other things considered, um, that would be a good one to buy. So we can see here now my immutable X balance has increased because I've just transferred um, some stuff from my ETH wallet. So we can go and buy um, some stuff. So we're just going to go through and sign this. Um, so going to confirm that purchase and going to sign it um, on MetaMask. And uh, and there you go. So you can see here that that's the um, that's the speed that you get. That's the whole point of something like Immutable X. Um, you're still you're still signing the the uh, transaction through your Ethereum wallet or MetaMask. You're not paying the gas fee because it's not happening on Ethereum, but you're getting the speed um, of of uh, well, it was immediate really, wasn't it? Um, so there's another one. Let's have a quick look. See if there's anything else. Um, any other low serial numbers? That's a quite a good one. Uh, 500. So that one. What's that? That's, yeah. So it looks like. Um, yeah, I mean this is pretty boring for you guys, but uh, this is roughly uh, just doing this sort of off the cuff. Roughly um, at the moment, I, I don't really care um, what I'm buying because there's not there's not a lot of sort of variation in um, in these items. Um, you know, they're sort of games, just sort of gameplay items. They're they're sort of not unique. The uniqueness is the serial number, which is something we've seen quite a lot of sort of projects so um, let's go where was that first one we saw so this one looks like a good serial number I mean obviously you can get serial number in, on into two digits that's going to be good even better but that's obviously more expensive so again uh, we will buy uh, one of those um, and uh, do the same sort of signing um, so MetaMask and then there we go and we can just check that's kind of correct. We can go now look in my inventory. So I've got this one uh, Gods Unchained uh, card, and now I've got these two uh, Guild of Guardian Heroes. And my, you can see my Mutable X balance has, has gone down. Um, I don't know, is there anything else I can get? Let's have a look. Uh, go back to the Marketplace and Heroes. So um, let me just be sort of randomly looking around what haven't I got. Um, The other thing is, I'm sure over time this uh, marketplace will be sort of re reworked because people do really care about serial numbers. <laughs> I didn't always think people did care about serial numbers, and then I started um, doing getting involved with uh, Blanco's block party, and that is very serial number focused. Believe me. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think that's something that that marketplaces will have to sort of look at. And again, I would say this as a marketplace, this is pretty. Um, Pretty clunky at the moment. I, I you know, I, th I think over time these things um, obviously do get uh, kind of the UI gets gets worked on um, because basically what you want to filter really is not just by pricing. You want to filter by um, by serial number um, and pricing. Um, oh, that's a quite a good one. Um, but maybe I won't buy that one. Um, I'll, I'll leave it. See, see what see what else turns up. So anyway, um, thanks for. Um, watching uh, the video let's say this is blockchain gaming world where we spend our time uh, deep in the world of blockchain games seeing what's going on um, seeing there's a lot of focus now on these sort of scaling solutions and interesting to see um, as more games sort of launch on, on things like immutable x if a sort of community develops around there because obviously there is a bit of friction moving moving um, eth from 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 ethereum to immutable x there is a gas fee there so so you don't necessarily want to be doing that um kind of kind of all the time um uh and obviously kind of moving it back again as well. <laughs> it's it's, it's sort, of, sort of the other issue. Um, but anyway, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you again soon.